you may have seen many new studies referring to coronavirus being present on surfaces for up to 17 days. And this all refers back to a CDC report where they found traces of viral RNA or the genetic material from the coronavirus in staterooms up to 17 days after everybody had left the ship. And so does this mean that that can translate to you or that that virus can be transmissible to you? And the answer is no. A good way to think about this is that we can find pieces of the virus and understand that that virus is the coronavirus we're looking for, but it doesn't mean that that virus is a full virus or viable virus that's able to transmit disease to you. A good way to think about this is if you walked into a room and you saw a tire with a hubcap, maybe a steering wheel, but that doesn't mean that you could walk into that room, put those pieces together, and drive away with the car. It doesn't work that way. And so similarly, we found pieces of virus inside that stateroom, but it doesn't mean that that virus can be put together and transmit a disease to you. The best evidence we have about how long the coronavirus actually can persist on surfaces and possibly be transmitted is about three days. But that's only for very hard surfaces, things like hard plastics and metals. For other soft surfaces like cardboard, it's even less, probably less than 24 hours. And those, of course, are all within a controlled environment. So if those surfaces are out in the open, in the environment, those time periods are probably even lower. So what does that mean for you? Continuing to do all of the cleaning, uh, personal hygiene that we've talked about and that are recommended by the CDC are going to be important for you to keep yourself, your family members, and your office mates safe. Keep those questions coming and see you next time.